Welcome back to Nerva Wallet's Polkadot in Action series. In this episode, we will discuss how Nerva makes it easier than ever before to observe, participate, and delegate in Polkadot OpenGov. OpenGov is set to be adopted by a wide range of networks in the Polkadot ecosystem, and Nerva Wallet will support them all. Polkadot OpenGov is a sophisticated and complex topic which, to fully understand, requires quite a lot of reading and hands-on practice. Nova Wallet helps to abstract away these complexities through its elegant interface. Nova's vote screen allows you to very quickly observe all ongoing on-chain referendums. From this screen, you can easily see the current status of each referendum. You can even search for a specific referendum by its title or referendum ID, and you can apply various filters to the list so that, for example, you can quickly see the referendums that you are yet to vote on. The top left section of each referendum describes the referendum's current state. When a referendum is first created, it will be in its preparing state, and Nova will very clearly indicate this in the interface. There will also be a countdown timer present, which is indicating the minimum amount of time before the decision period can start, assuming that the decision deposit has been posted. Sometimes it can take a long time for a referendum to have its decision deposit posted. Such referendum won't enter their decision period and instead will remain in the waiting for deposit state. If a referendum does not have its decision deposit posted for a considerable amount of time, it will eventually time out and be removed from the active referendum list. The most common state that you will likely see a referendum in is the not passing state. Remember, this status indicator is telling you the status of the referendum at the current time, and in most cases, you will see that a referendum is meeting its approval threshold, but has not actually met its support threshold. You can think of the support threshold as the amount of tokens that has turned up to vote on that particular referendum. When a referendum meets its support and approval criteria, it will then be elevated to the confirmation period. The referendum must continue to meet both the support and approval criteria for the entire confirmation period, or it will be sent back into its decision period. Referendums which are in their confirmation period will now have the passing status. The timer in the top right will also update to read approve in and the countdown timer. Referendums which have successfully passed through their confirmation period will then be given the approved status. This status indicates that the referendum has successfully passed but is still waiting to be enacted. Referendums that have successfully passed and since have been executed on chain will finally receive the executed status. Referendums which were not popular and did not pass successfully will receive the rejected status flag. Whereas referendum which were wildly unpopular may receive the cancelled status flag if they were cancelled or killed by the governance killer or canceller tracks. To see more details about a referendum and ultimately vote on it, select the referendum which interests you. You will now see more contextual information about the referendum and can even select the read more button to see all the markdown text from the referendum's originator. For treasury based referendums, you can also easily see the requested amount of tokens in both the native token and USD values. Just like the previous summary screen, you can see the current voting status of this referendum. You can also select the information icon to the right of either the I or nay votes and see which accounts are voting on this referendum. A full timeline of the referendum is available at the bottom of the page. We have also added the most popular governance dApps, PokeAssembly and Subsquare. You can select these to comment and react on this particular referendum directly from Nova Wallet. 
To vote on a referendum, simply select the Vote button. From the next screen, you can enter the amount of tokens that you wish to use for your vote, as well as your conviction, also known as the voluntary lockup period. You can think of conviction voting as a voting power multiplier, which locks up your tokens for an additional amount of time in exchange for multiplying your vote's power. Take note of the contextual information provided by Nova at the bottom of the screen. It shows you some important information, such as how long your tokens will be locked up for, based on your current conviction level. Then, simply select I if you agree with the contents of the referendum, or nay if you disagree with it. One of the most amazing features of Nova Wallet's governance capabilities is the Agile Delegation System. When you delegate your votes, you basically ensure that your account follows the voting direction of another account. For example, maybe you don't feel confident voting on referendums about runtime upgrades. In this case, you could delegate your voting power to a specialist developer who you believe can make a better informed decision. This allows you to ensure that your voting power is always used and ultimately makes it easier for your votes to help steer the direction of the network in the best possible way. To get started with delegating your voting power, select the Add Delegation button on Nova Wallet's vote screen. You will then be presented with the Delegate Registry. Here you can see a list of individuals and organisations who are active in on-chain governance and are trying to acquire delegated votes. Once you have selected an account, you can then select Read More to learn more about that individual or organisation. You can also see some summarised information, such as their total amount of delegated votes, the number of accounts delegating to them, and some information about their voting habits. To delegate, simply select the Add Delegate button, select which tracks you wish to delegate for, or simply press Select All. From the next screen, you can enter the amount of tokens that you wish to delegate, as well as set your conviction level. Take note of the contextual information provided by Nova Wallet at the bottom of the screen. It will show you some important information such as for how long your tokens will be locked up based on your conviction level. Select Continue, and finally, review all of the information and select Confirm. We hope that this video showcases how Nova Wallet makes it easier than ever before to observe, participate and delegate in Polkadot's OpenGov system. Remember to go out and vote on referendum and help control the direction of the network.